Welcome to No Plants, No Food! In the classroom, Plants are all around us. What if there are no plants? Teacher asks. Students answer. There, there will be, be no green grass, grass no, no flowers, flowers, no, no trees. trees. Good answer, said teacher. Also, it is a fact. Plants make food. The students look puzzled. Tonight, do your homework. Tomorrow, come hungry to school. That night, students search the internet about where foods come from. The next morning, the students don't eat at home. They come hungry to school. Students and parents put food on the tables. This Who smells good! Say the students. Teacher said, Before we eat, let's see which foods are made by plants. Next, teacher has a surprise. Okay, please take away all the food made by plants. The students look at the table with plant products removed. A hungry student sadly said, Well, at least we can still eat milk, eggs, and meat. Not so fast, said the teacher. Students say, Huh? Teacher asks, What do animals eat? The surprised students say, Oh my! Animals can eat plants! Oh no! Said the students. Parents take away the milk, meat, eggs, just spices, sauces, and water are left on the table. Teacher says, Pepper and these sauces come from plants. He takes them off the table. He adds, Salt can stay. It is a mineral. Water stays too. Later, we will see more about water and plants. Teacher asks, What if there are no plants? Students say, Wow! There will be no food and no animals too! Teacher asks, Who wants us to bring back all food that comes from plants? The hungry students all say, Yes, please! please. Parents bring back all the food. Hooray! Say the students. As they eat, the students think about how food comes from plants. After they eat, teacher asks, What do plants need to live? Sunshine, said a student. Yes, and what else? Asked teacher. Dirt, said another student. Teacher said, Yes, but not just any dirt. Plants need soil. Soil has vitamins and minerals that plants need to grow. What else? Asked teacher. As the class thinks, teacher pulls something out of his pocket. What is this? A bee! Say the students. Yes! Said teacher. Beans are also seeds. Let's see how seeds grow in eight steps. One, start with soil rich with vitamins. Two, Plant the seed. 3. Water the thirsty seeds. 4. Add sunshine. 5. Grow the plants. Vitamins in the soil mix with water. Roots drink water that is mixed with vitamins and minerals. Leaves catch the sun's energy. So, plants are sun or solar powered. 6. Later, plants get flowers. 7. Pollinate flowers. Inside flowers are pollen cells. Bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds all help move pollen between flowers. The pollinated flowers change into fruits and vegetables. Yeah! Plants make food! Inside are seeds. When the seeds grow, they start the food cycle all over again. Wow! Amazing! Seeds grow into plants that make food! Say the students. Remember that animals eat plants too, said a student. Teacher replies. The main point is people eat plants and animals too. Teacher points out. This is the food web. It connects our planet to plants and people. To close, Seeds with soil and sun become plants. They make food that animals and us eat. Simply said, no plants, no people.
when we take care of our earth, we care for the plants that make our food too. Awesome! At the center of earth life is a circle of sun, soil, seeds, and plants. The ebook with the same name is available on Google Play. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 2 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 